Hi Poopsies, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be talking about this video editing program called Filmora. Wondershare Filmora to be exact. And it is a great affordable video editing program. That is very, very amazing. I mean, it has so many different options you see here. I'm going to show you just some of them that I prefer to use when editing my videos on this app. Um, there's the file button here. You have the option to do a new project with 16 colon 9 width or 4 colon 3s, 4 colon 3 being a smaller sort of screen to edit your video on. Um, you can of course open different projects, save projects, import media, download, record, different settings, uh, exporting by uploading to YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo, which many of these video editing programs do not provide, so I find this amazing and also more online help centers and such. So I've already edited most of the video just because it took me two hours alone just to do the majority of it and I didn't want it to be boring so um, I just mostly wanted to show you this amazing program I use and Hope you learn something from it if you're passionate about video making and editing if you want to go ahead and try it for yourself and get amazing high quality content on your youtube channel as well if you do youtube as well so i'm going to start off by selecting a video clip and i'm going through the different colors i am doing a uh, sort of a sample color here, let's say gradient one. And I'm gonna play that and that's how the color um, should look if you feel the need to add some color with like a text box in your video. But, um, and then you can either click edit, add to project or just click that plus button, which will then add it onto your video. So once I play it, of course you see the purple gradient and then you see my video playing, so that's like a more of an intro kind of box you can place. But I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to click undo. There's also sample videos you can do. Let's say a countdown. So you have a counter. This looks like those old-fashioned movie counters. That's pretty cute. How about this one? Oh, this looks futuristic. Looks like a spaceship counter. How about this one? Ooh, that looks like something that Jenna Marbles would have in her intro. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's different options here like importing, uh, where you import media files from camera or phone, which again, many editors do not do this. Facebook, Instagram, Flickr. I mean, how amazing is this? All the popular apps in one program. You can even record from webcam, record PC screen, or record a voiceover, which I selected record PC screen to film this video right now, which is amazing. I mean, I used a video editing program that didn't even have that option, so not to mention the option to upload straight to YouTube, which is just great for me. Uh, you have options here to add new folders. Here's my uh, album of... Um, videos that I have here. Um, yep, there's me in my underwear. How embarrassing, right? So, of course, I had to edit most of this just so you wouldn't have to uh, see that, and I have to go through the embarrassment of you watching that. But good thing you can't see anything else for the most part. But these are just the different files I've used uh, to transfer onto my video editing. And all of this, as you can see, is the last video I just uploaded on Thursday, promoting my new glasses and also putting a hundred layers of highlighter on my face. And so you're going to see this video 
obviously after that video, but I'm editing it right now to make this video, if that makes sense. So you select media and you see this camera icon, that's where you drag all of the video files onto there. There's an image icon for pictures, text for text, and that musical note for the audio portion, of course. And you also have different music you can pick from. Um, there's different ones, young and bright, tender and sentimental, rock, hipster folk, the list goes on. And you can even select your favorites and save them for later. And there's also text and credits, like this, for example. Love and arrow and credit. So there's a lot of pre-made custom ones you can use to make your videos even higher quality than they already are. Of course, different options, Christmas, Halloween, common, ribbon, badges, etc. Filters, here's one. Let's see, ooh, this makes it look even cooler. It's so flashy. How about this one, bright lights? What does that do to my video? Wow, it's amazing. Blue explosion, what's this? Ooh. I love that. So you get the point. I just wanted to try to show you how I sort of edit my videos from time to time. It's not always the same. Every video is different. There's always numerous different ways you can edit your videos, but I thought this would make a relaxing video to show. And of course, if you're interested, I am leaving a link in the description of my video down below for you to check out the website and purchase this editor for yourself. Some other options and stuff. These are more overlays um, instead of filters. So overlays would sort of be like something you would just lay over the video itself instead of a, a filter like in Instagram, how they do in pictures and such. Elements. This is a um, vacation element. Hmm, that's pretty fun. Yeah, you have different ones. Um, I am enjoying a different version right now, which lets me choose certain ones. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a bunch of them. There's too many to choose from. I mean, it never ends. The world is basically your oyster here. You can add so many different effects and animations and such. Now let's select a, another video file instead of using the same one over and over again. How about this one? And I can even do a transition. This is just a sample transition, but I can play and show you how it transitions. Okay? So if I actually, let's say, add this to my video clip, That's how it would transition. So I am going to undo that, show another example here. Let's see, sweep clockwise. That would be like this. So then if I add that onto my video, this is how it looks. Okay, I don't prefer that, so I'm going to undo it. But what I will do pretty soon, I'm going to show you is add some transitions here. Uh, there's also a split screen option where you can put two different images or videos at once and play them at the same time or multiple like four or six. Again, the list goes on. So let's say I add this to my video. I can actually drag different media files into these drop zones and add them to be played as such. So, uh, Export, this is what you do when you are finally done with your video and you render it as a certain format or even to be posted, like I said, to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, DVD, or different device. And you can then adjust different resolution in the settings, which I prefer 1920 by 1080. And the frames per second, as long as it's 30, it's okay. I find 60 frames per second is sometimes too intense. 
All right. So I basically covered everything. You can zoom on the timeline, zoom in and out with these keys. Uh, this is an audio mixer where you can adjust different levels of the audio. I don't mess with that because I use um, Audacity to fix my audio because uh, I'm so used to it, but I'm sure this one is just as amazing, so I'll give it a shot. Uh, but uh, this is another way you can edit your video. I don't prefer this way. I like the timeline method. And here you can add more tracks. You can add text track, music track to elongate the editor and make room for more footage. Uh, here you can click for more effects. Uh, this will open an internet browser to allow you to select for more uh, for purchase. Okay, and you can even buy and register if you haven't yet. You can save the project from here or I always go to file and save project as message. This is the system where you get new updates about new things relating to the app. Light skin is the option where you can have the video editor white and dark skin is the video editor in the silver gray color that it is right now. And this doesn't hurt my eyes so I prefer the darker skin color. This is where you can record a voiceover as well take a snapshot for like video thumbnails so I can click this and I automatically have a picture of the video itself. And this is where you can adjust the volume to be heard on the video editor and you can also do a full screen so you can watch your video at any time you please. So as I go along the editor you see uh, the time right here um, that the video is playing at. So it's 6 minutes 30 seconds. There I am, and I'm not fully satisfied with this video, so I'm not completely done yet. But what I am going to do is add more color to it, which is right here, where I click Edit, and then Saturation, which you see, this really saturates my video, and this really darkens it out. And I always like to add a little saturation. See how much that improved my video. This this is the normal video. Doesn't it look very dull? Look how much a little bit of color does to a video. Isn't that amazing? I'm not going to mess with the brightness or the hue. I think it's perfect enough as it is. You can even auto enhance, but I think that's too sharp. Uh, and of course you can even adjust the speed or play the video clip in reverse if you please for different types of edits. You can even flip the video vertically horizontally. <laughs> it's like I'm doing a little dance. <laughs> it's funny. Or in this manner. Either way around. I'm going to click OK. This is perfect the way it is. And I'm looking around and I notice that um, this is not as saturated either. So of course I'm going to go back, do a little bit of saturating on each video clip and that will work wonders. See how gray it is compared to what I just had? It's amazing what a little bit of color can do to save a video and capture people's attention. It is so helpful to have a good quality video editor when posting to YouTube because I'm telling you just doing videos out of experience with no edits whatsoever doesn't really appeal to most audiences so this is I believe a very good investment for those of you who are serious into that kind of business and want to give it a shot for yourself. I'm not going to saturate this where I show the glasses themselves because this has enough color and I believe it'll, it has to sort of be a balance. So some parts don't always have to be so saturated and it's easier on the eyes. And there's a flash and hold option which is adding this effect which I guess is sort of like a 
focus, like how you have those lights that focus on the performer on the stage, that kind of thing. But one more thing I'm going to show is this power tool, and this can actually make the outer edges of the surroundings blur out so that one portion can be focused. And the mosaic is where you can blur out a certain percentage of the video, like a face, for example, who doesn't want to be seen. And you can even apply different faces over the face. It automatically recognizes that you have a face on the video, so it'll put certain faces to be seen over your face uh, to censor the person. So this is really amazing and custom. Again, I haven't had most of these options in my other video editor, which is why I really prefer it myself. And one more thing I'm going to do before I end this video off are my transitions. And I feel I haven't really done that quite well in this video yet, so I'm going to... Uh, add a couple here just to show you an example. I'm going to go back to transitions here and see what I can do. Um, there was this one I really liked, Dissolve, and this one just smoothly fades the video like that. So when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go back and place that effect in this entire video and see how that works if I like it. There's also another one which I use at the beginning and end of videos which is fade and it just slowly darkens out the video so it's easy on the eyes. Of course for my relaxation videos I want to make it the best as possible so um, this video editing app give it a 5 out of 5 stars. If I could give it a 10 star out of 5 stars I would. Um, if you want to go ahead and check it out for yourself, link is in the description below, again, to Wondershare Filmora video editing software. Very, very nice deal for such a good piece of work. So, this 29 minute video took about two hours for me to edit. Some of you edit faster, but like I said, I put, I, um, excuse me, I like to put a lot of hard work into my videos each and every time, so a good editing software like this, if you want to improve, such as myself, would be very handy for you filmmakers out there, or aspiring artists. Okay, thank you very much for watching Poopsies, and I hope you guys have a nice day.